Hey, what's up, YouTube? Um, seen a lot of people, you know, post, you know, a lot of videos of, you know, their take on cutting hair and, you know, their clippers and tools and products they use. So, figured I'd make one of my own and let you guys uh, rate and comment and see what you guys think. Anyways, let me get started by uh, here. I got a little, you know, barber chair. You know, leans back. It's got a headrest. You know, it does the job. You know, for a home barber use, I mean, it gets the job done. Next, I got the uh, clipper keeper. I use it, you know, if you got to be on the go or something, all around, you know, just organization. Uh, start off by um, I got the Andy's MVP two-speed rotary motor, a detachable blade. Uh, here's some of the blades I use: uh, three and a half, two, one and a half, a one, triple zero, four zero, five zero. Got the Andes uh, magnetic guards from a zero to a four. Um, next, I got the Andes Masters standard blade, it's the M MLX edition. Cuts from a one to a triple zero. I adjusted these so they cut to a four zero. Uh, these are the Andy's Fade Masters. I got these adjusted cut from a uh, triple zero to a six zero. It's got the uh, thin surgical blade, all around, you know, balding or uh, it's great for taking that uh, fade line out. These are my Andy's Fat Masters. They, uh, I love these clippers because they cut from a two to a one A, and uh, if you know how to use them right, um, you don't have to use your guards as much, you know. So. These are the, uh, everyone knows what these are. These are your Andy's trimmers. These are your T outliners. I put an MD uh, T1 trimmer on there because the Andy's, I found out that uh, the combs on the blades are just, you know, smaller and they get plugged up a lot and, and the cut is not as clean, you know. So, and the MD ones, you know, I like them a lot because uh, it is, has a bigger comb so it just combs the hair when you're cutting. So, you know, it's really sharp when you're making that line. And uh, the black coating on the cutting blade, so you, you know, it's kind of cool so you can see in between the black and silver when you're, you know, adjusting them. I got another uh, T outliner, I just put a Pro Mate square blade on there, zero gapped it, you know, for the headline and, you know, lightly on beards. Next, I got the uh, Andy's Pro Foil Shaver, uh, it's got the pop up trimmer. Uh, I like this for a lot when you're doing skin fades and stuff. Uh, gets that stubble out, you know, just as good as a, if not better, as a straight razor. Get some combs, some flat top combs, some razor blades, some razors. Uh, Oster fast feeds, rotary motor. Cuts from a triple zero to one. It's lighter than Andy's Masters and stays cooler uh, longer. But uh, I like using these on tapers because to me they uh, they help me get that you know the taper fades you know really clean. Uh, the wall balding five star uh, cuts at a six aught. These are my uh, wall super taper twos. Uh, painted the, the top cover. Um, put a new blade on there. It's Cuts from a uh, triple zero to a half. It's the same blade as the five star senior. I use these combs only just you know to clean off. Uh, I don't. I have a bunch of them, but I only use them to clean them off. Uh, to me, it's just more sanitary. It's a little harder to clean, you know. So I find out that using you know these taper combs, you can do the same. You can get the hair out when you're fading. Uh, just you know all around combs for you know removing hair off the clippers. Paintbrush, you know, just you know helps you know get it off faster. Uh, some of the products I use, well, I forgot about this. This is the uh, Oster's massager. Uh, I put a glove on, put it over my hand, and the vibrations they work through your hand and fingertips, and uh, allowing you, you know, give that really nice massage around the scalp and neck and area. And the feedback I get from it, uh, they like it. You know, they like it a lot, so it works. Uh, Got that 50% wintergreen alcohol sprayed after each haircut. The water, wet wipe, uh, paper towel, uh, toilet paper. I use the toilet paper because the Sanex uh, neck strip. Sometimes on bigger guys, they uh, they just don't wrap around right and they start to rip. So I use you know the neck strips or the toilet paper. 
and it works for me. So next I got the latex black gloves, uh, my shea bowls, you know, for water and stuff. Got some extra parts, some extra blades, uh, pro foil shaver, um, some more blades. Uh, next I got the barber side. Uh, you got this for disinfecting. Uh, Andy's Cool Care 5-in-1. Andy's Clipper Oil. Uh, Witch Hazel, natural astringent. People use that or Sea Breeze over the alcohol. But uh, I use the Witch Hazel after a hot towel shave. You know, just apply it on a hot towel and apply it to their face. Uh, next, I got the uh, Olive Oil Hair Moisturizer. I like using this because the, the hair just, uh, you know, soaks it up really well. This is just the same thing, just in a can. Uh, some lotion, use that, you know, on the face after a shave or something. Same thing with this one, it's a tea, tea tree hair and body moisturizer. Got the Germex, some aloe vera, you know, for the cooling effects. Club Men Talc, it's got a great smell. Uh, I apply it to this one, hair duster, because it's, it's more coarse and it gets the hair off a lot faster. And I use this one around the face. It's just uh, softer and you know it's easier on the face. Next, I got the uh, spritz. I'm doing like a flat top. You know, makes the hair stand up straight with the comb. Dries really quick. Got the uh, Club Men gel. The Club Men uh, aftershave's got a nice you know smell to it. Nice little sting. Um, this is the Proasso pre crave stream uh, pre. Pre-shave cream, sorry. Um, apply that to the beard and uh, with a hot towel. And uh, what it does, it softens the beard, you know, the hair, and opens up the pore and allows the razor to glide. If you guys haven't uh, researched shave oil, do so. This is called Shave Secret Oil. You can find it at Walmart, really cheap. And uh, a couple drops, massage it in the beard, and the razor just glides real easy. Some shave gel. This is just a jar to you know keep my old dirty razors. A hot latherizer, a shave bowl to you know old fashioned you know, with the shave brush latherize or to lather up. A hot towel steamer. You know just apply water in there and it steams it up. Go to Amazon, type in food steamer. It's the exact same thing, and a lot cheaper for you got for like 25 bucks. This is a cape. Got to have one of those. A mirror. Got to have a mirror. This is, you know, everyone knows what that is. Um, over here, you know, I got some assorted taper combs, some uh, clip over comb brushes, or, you know, combs and brushes. Some razors, disposable razors, some Q-tips for the uh, Nick Relief, which I haven't used yet. Some hair shaper blades from Persona. Next, I got you know one scissors. I don't do too much scissor cuts, but you know, and some uh, some brushes to do the lather eyes or to lather. The hair persona hair shaper blade, uh, the magic razor. I got the MD Dragon uh, straight razor. It's got a nice weight to it. Uh, works for you, not against you. You know, it's it, it's nice. I like it. Uh, this is a double edged safety razor. It takes. Uh, one of these and uh, I like it because you know it's not disposable it's more economical and you could reuse it all the time and it's got a nice weight to it you know uh, just some coloring you know kiss expressions for anybody that want to you know Rick Ross their beard some applicators uh, magic barber cone or bat mar magic barber pencil some extra guards and uh, clipper oil Got the Nevo blade setter, got that off of MD's wiper supply. It's just an empty drawer. You know, throw all my dirty combs. Uh, some ship shape, use that to clean my brushes and stuff like that. Uh, it's just a cleaner, not a disinfectant. So make sure after you clean it, you throw it in your barber side. Anyway, so this is what I use. Uh, rate, comment. Uh, if you guys got any questions, uh, just hit me up. And, uh, I'll get back to you.